What are we doing here? This is the house where Henry Morrison murdered his family. You think I don't remember that? I was here that night. I never want to see anything like that again. Yeah, I know a friend of mine sent me your article. I was bumming around Europe at the time. It took nine months for me to get it. Cops never ever did catch a guy. File's inactive. I think it should be reopened. Yeah, well, talk to the cops. I'm just a reporter. Well, I talked to the cops. They could give a shit. Listen to me a minute, all right? Now, three weeks before Morrison killed him, he quit his job, didn't tell anybody, got up every morning pretending to go to work, and came home the same time every night. So? So how far could he go every day and still get back the same time every night? Look at this. He has to be somewhere within this radius. See, what I think is that during that time, he was setting himself up a new life somewhere close by. What do you want from me? Just this. You do a follow-up story, right? You run a pitch for Morrison. Your paper circulates in this area. Now, there's a chance that someone might recognize him in the paper. If they do, Brandon, you're a hero. Why are you chasing this? Vicky Morrison's maiden name was Ogilvy. She was my sister. Ah, uh, Jesus. I'm sorry, Ogilvy, huh? Look, I'll do what I can, all right? Okay. This place is mine now. You wanna go inside? Fuck no. He didn't run his fucking picture! How the hell is someone supposed to identify him when you don't run the picture? Get your hands off of me! My editor didn't run the picture, not me, huh? I almost didn't get the article in the paper at all. Now what do you want from me? I just work here, I don't make policy. I'm sorry. Yeah, just don't let it happen again. You almost gave me a corner. Huh? Here. Now, this is a job for professionals, Ogilvy. You're just one man. Why don't you get on with the rest of your life? Forget about it. You saw what he did to him. Can you forget about it?
listen to me for a second. What I'm saying is I think this guy is married again to a divorcee with kids, a widow. I know him. This guy cannot live without a family. Now, you got to help me. I don't have time. Oh, come on, listen, all I'm asking for are copies of the marriage certificates for the last year. Now, how much time is that going to take? More time than I've got or care to spare. Come back in a couple of weeks when we're not so busy. I need them now. Goodbye. Uh, asshole. You're not qualified. Yeah. What? To call him asshole. Right. It's an earned privilege. You have to know him at least half an hour. Well, perhaps you could help me there, Miss Barnes. I could. The question is, why should I? Because asshole wouldn't like it, and I would. What do you say, Miss Barnes? I say you're qualified to call me Annie. Okay. Mr. Meredith? Yeah, that's me. Okay, I'm sorry to bother you. Thanks. Gerald Blake home. No. Was he supposed to show you a house? He sells houses? Yes, he does. Can I help you? No, I'll just drop by later. See, I'm not even sure it's the same Gerald Blake. Well, I could give him a message for you. No, that's okay. If it's the guy I know, I'd rather just surprise him. All right. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. This is Fairfax. Not for long. Put this in the trunk. I'll be right out. I'm leaving now. Is this him? Is this the guy? Sure. I'm having an affair with a cab driver. You let her in your cab, and I'll break every bone in your body. Me. I'm not a cab driver, okay? Okay. I just want to ask you a question. You ever seen this guy before? Huh? Uh, the beard's new, but he looks something like the guy who sold us this house. You know what I mean? Could be him. He sells houses. Yeah, that's right. Jim Ogilvy. It's blood. Next time, Jim, call before you drop by. <laughs> <laughs>